Hey YouTube, I don't know if it recorded that, but hey YouTube, back with another gun review. I know, out of me, can you, can you believe it? I sure can't. Oh, my old shovel. So, today we are going to review another gun. Um, this is the Ruger EC9S. Um, I kind of gave it away. As you see, I have the dummy mag in it. Go ahead and show you that the gun is empty. There's nothing in it. Um, so I'm gonna start this by saying I've been a fan of Ruger a little for a little while now. I have, if you guys know, I have their uh, the Wrangler, the 22 revolver, very nice gun. Um, but moving on to this, my dad's first EDC was an LCP 380. Still has it, Ruger, and um, I wanted to get one for mine. And he said to stay away from the 380. He said they're, the ammo is kind of expensive and hard to find. And he said the gun was really small in his hand. And um, told me that they did make a 9 version just to go ahead and get that. I never found that. And I was looking for a more compact e, um, EDC, something that I can carry concealed much easier. And uh, I found this. And it looks a lot like the LCP. It's a little bit bigger. Couldn't tell. Um... And the price was right on it, and it is very, very slim, um, which is very, I think is perfect for, you know, carry conceal. And you got, you get all kinds of holsters. Like I've got this black hog for it in the waistband. Um, that holster is not very good, but it's there. Um, so let's get into it. I'm kind of rambling. We're gonna go on the pros and cons of this, and why I think this would make a great budget. Um, concealed carry weapon for people but we're gonna start we're gonna do pros and cons on it and then my personal thoughts if there's time so start with the cons people complain about the sights all the time because instead of being like its predecessors where the sights are at least you know painted or something you know uh, some of them I think I heard were adjustable but I'm not entirely sure um, these are milled directly into the slide and I don't think they, they're they bad. Um, we'll get into that later. The only part that I, after all the reviews that I saw on this gun, when it came to the sights that I agree with, is the fact that this front sight is kind of kind of hard to I can't line that up. Kind of see, because it's just all blacked out, and there's no, you know, it makes it hard when you're trying to line up a shot and train the weapon, you know what I mean? Train it onto where you want it. Um... And another thing people complained about for one was, all right, remember that's a dummy mag, and that's what brings it in, uh, brings it all into focus for this too, is the is the fact that you have to have this to do anything with it. I'll show you. So I take the fake plastic mag out, the trigger locks, shove the plastic mag in. See, people didn't like that. People say this slide's kind of hard. I don't think it is. Um, and also, the fact that it has the safety on the back here, which really I don't mind. I, I, I like having the extra option. I'm not used to the safety. But it's good. Now, the only other thing people really, really complain about was that trigger, too, is how long it is. It's like you really got to reach up there. And then there it is. I personally don't have an issue with the, the trigger pull. Like I said, I've, I've dealt with LCPs before, and I don't mind it. Um, the gun, we'll go with the positives. Now, it's really all the negatives I can come up with. The gun is lighter than my other guns, the pistols that I carry. Um, the gun does not feel bad in the hand. I think it's actually pretty good, considering what it is. Um, I carry it in the waistband, and... It conceals quite nicely. Um, I use one of these, these Allen holsters. And if you guys are wondering about the holster size, this is a, a size 7. That's a good one. Or you can get the one from Blackhawk. It'll say uh, LC9. Or it won't say LC9. It'll say EC9S, which is the same thing. The gun fits in just fine. The only real difference is on those guns is really the serrations and the sights. Um... The gun 
carries very nicely. It's not heavy. It's not pulling my pants down. It has a seven round capacity, eight if you want to put one in the pipe, a uh, nine millimeter Luger. This, I like this. The only thing I'm going to go back to the negatives is the um, takedown of the thing. You have to pull this down here, this little trap door, which is a pain to even get. There you go. You pull this little trap. I just put it back up, but you pull this little trap door down and to pop this pin out, and it's it's not not fun. But the gun shoots very nice. Um, I managed to do some decent shots with it, and for an everyday carry, I cannot complain about this this weapon. I suggest it strongly. Um, anybody looking for their first EDC, um, go ahead and get you one. Worth, worth. I think it's worth, worth the price range. But y'all, tell me what you think in the comments. Subscribe, and uh, y'all have a good one.